So this is um, high noon, high moment. Um, this is an empire at its very height. And uh, the weather is clear. We're now moved over so we get a clear view of the harbor. And um, our, our promontory with the boulder is now moved over to the far side of the painting. And in fact, nature is now on the far side of, of this painting because the natural environment is literally completely built over with this extraordinary city. Great ships are in the harbor. In the immediate foreground, a triumphal procession. If you look at it closely, you see it's very Cecil B. DeMille in its feeling. And in fact, we know that DeMille looked at paintings like these when he was constructing his early film epics. And this is indeed an epic. The Roman um, uh, triumphs, the, the clusters of, of helmets and armor and shields and crossed lances. All of this signifies um, an empire in terms of not a peaceful republic that goes about its own business, but an empire that seeks conquest, um, that seeks to expand, and that brings back uh, the booty and the riches of conquered lands. And you see that happening in the procession. In the foreground, where a robed imperial figure um, rides an elephant. And following him and preceding him are great throngs of citizens, of soldiers, of captives. And um, all of this pageantry is watched by um, an enormous crowd. And it's wonderful to look at the course of empire at, at consummation very, very closely because there are crowds everywhere, every roof, every surface, right up to the portico that tops the great temple to the left. There are crowds and crowds of tiny, tiny people um, watching this pageantry of empire.